So she's got herself a nice fella, real nice fella. But she's a little bit nervous that his family thinks she's Christian and she's not. She's agnostic. Uh, good morning, Anitra. Good morning. You're on the Birch Show. Good morning. Hi. Hi. All right. So tell us about this relationship and why you're nervous to tell his parents exactly about your religion or not or lack of religion. Uh, yeah. Um, so I've been dating for him about it's going on two years now. Um, so, it's you know, we're a little more serious. And I just never thought like to tell his family that I'm agnostic because it's just never come up like, hey, guys, I'm agnostic. Um, but they're always they're, they're very religious. So they pray at the table, um, you know, and I bow my head out of respect and everything. But I think it's come to the point where they assume I'm Christian. Um, and now I feel like they're going to think I'm lying to them eventually when they find out that I'm agnostic. All right. So for those that don't know what agnostic is, it's just kind of like your belief about God. It's just kind of like meh, right? Like you, you don't believe or don't believe. You just got to see it to believe it. And you're just kind of like meh. All right. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Meh. Meh. Jesus. Meh. It, it's, it's more science-based, right? So it's just like no one can say who God is. Like no one knows. So like who, who could have the confidence to say which one is right, you know? So agnostic is just like you could all be right, but I don't I don't, I'm not, I don't believe you. You're like, I'm not picking a team. And when, yeah. I, when I get up there, I'll tell them I wasn't against y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's the long, drawn-out version of meh. Right. <laughs> All right, so um, what is your concern here? Your boyfriend knows how you really feel, right? Yeah, he knows. He, I mean, we've talked about it, and I've asked him what his opinion on it is, and he says he really doesn't know what his parents would think because they are very strict. They've even mentioned things like about when we have kids in the future, like his mom only wears long skirts. So she's like, well, I don't want uh, your old kids to wear leggings or anything like that. Okay. And, All right. Now we got a better. I, don't agree with. <laughs> I think now we have a better sense of your concern. Okay. So they are like super conservative. Um, yeah. Okay. All right, Mo. So if if your boyfriend felt like he wanted you to hide this and just not necessarily ever say anything about it, would that be something you actually think you could live with? No, not being me. It just never outright happened. Mm -hmm. Like, I never asked or anything. So I don't feel, I would feel weird coming forward and just bringing it up randomly. Yeah, you know, we talk, we've used this phrase a couple of times over the last couple of weeks, and that's, you're just kicking the can down the road a little bit. Like, at some point or another, this is going to be your truth to them. So why put it off? Like, is this going to be a deal breaker for his family? Will they deem, will they say to him, you cannot, you cannot bring her into the family? No. Um, I don't know. I don't think they will, but if, uh, they might be passive aggressive about it. Like, <laughs> well, yeah, like they might not say that to me, but they yeah. might hint at it. Well, believe you me, passive aggressiveness has nothing to do with religion. <laughs> it has everything to do with human nature. <laughs> Dobby. Are you sure? Um, I just don't, I don't think, I feel like her bringing it up is going to, encroach on what they hold so dear so like why bring it up now like she is respecting their wishes she bows her head she prays for dinner and I don't think if they find out she's agnostic it, they've been lying for years I think if you were to have a child and then they tried to tell you how you were going to raise your child mm -hmm. that is the point when you're holding your child then you can say that is not my belief system mm -hmm. I respect yours but my belief system like my child's going to grow up this way and they can't argue you with you then you're the mother to their <laughs> grandbaby I, I I'm, I'm glad that davi has that position because i'm going to give you the complete opposite of that i'm going to be like you know what this is a time issue right here if they're not going to accept you i think i'd rather know now and start dealing with it now before i have a child before i'm married i'd rather start dealing with it right now Cass. Well, I don't, I don't know. It's technically none of their business. If your boyfriend knows and your boyfriend's okay with it, that's what matters. That's, I know people are like, when you date someone, you date their family. When you marry someone, you marry their family. No, it's not their business. If they don't directly ask, you are respectful. And I actually think that bringing it up for super religious people, it'll be seen as a challenge <laughs> and slightly disrespectful, even though I know you won't mean it that way whatsoever. So I say take Dobby's route. If they ask you, you tell them. When it comes time to talk about your belief, 
belief system, then you tell them. You don't hide it, but you just respect their religion and move forward that way. Mo, your family is very religious. They go every Sunday. They, you yeah. know, what would you do in a case like this? Woo. Oh, that's a tough one. I didn't see that one coming. Um, well, we've been talking about I, it for almost five minutes. How could you not see that? Yeah, I, 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 I didn't see you pulling me in it. Okay, that's what I meant. Um, <laughs> I would probably want her to tell my family so we can kind of get it over with. Because I, I feel like my family would accept her because they'll accept anyone that I love. But at the end of the day, I know that they would look at her differently, whether they were honest with me about it or not. And I know it would be awkward for them because they're so religious and their belief is so strong. And I would rather them know as soon as possible. Celeste, good morning. You're part of the Bird Show. Good morning. How are you guys? So I'm Latina from the islands, and we are super religious. But if they're true, devout Christians... They shall not judge. Oh, come on. Mm, that, yeah. <laughs> come on. How come on. ideal. That sounds great. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Has it been if they working really like that? they want to be that conservative, then they would actually, that, that could be something she could be like, hey, listen, I just thought y'all would never judge since y'all are true devout Christians. And leave it at that. What, what, what's their rebuttal? Yeah, I mean, but come on. I mean, let's talk reality here when it comes to religion and judging. I mean, sometimes that's the harshest judgment, right? Yeah, true, but I mean, like I said, if they're true devout Christians, um, they shall not judge. I mean, I'm, I'm just that type of person uh, that if you're going to throw it at me, I'm just going to throw it back a little bit, just a little bit. <laughs> Remember, it was a couple of weeks ago we had uh, a woman on that was being called out by her priest in church. And if she didn't come forward and say that she was living a homosexual lifestyle, that uh, he was going to call her out in the middle of church. And nobody in the church was allowed to talk to her. And that came from the priest, Davi. That wasn't very forgiving now, was it? No. It was kind of judgy, <laughs> wasn't it? A little judgy. <laughs> so, like, yep. I don't want to think negatively, but let's just assume they're not true, devout Christians and they're going to be judged. <laughs> judgy about it. But I did want to say like a lot for a lot of very conservative people when they hear agnostic they think atheist Mm -hmm. and they're so drastically different. So like if she came in there and was like I'm an atheist that would almost be a challenge because it's saying you're wrong. But at least with an agnostic (laughs) it's saying nobody's right. I'm not telling you you're wrong. I just don't believe your system and I don't think anybody's right necessarily. I love that. I love Davi's opinion on this because we're so different here because I feel like if you tell somebody they're that you're agnostic, I feel like they're thinking, so you're saying there's a chance I can convert you. Whereas if you go in there and say, I don't believe at all, I don't think that will be a challenge. I think that would be like full on keep you at arm's length. Mo? I really feel like you got to somewhat lean on your boyfriend in this one. And he's got to kind of step up and make that decision because like Cassie mentioned, it's really not their business. But at the same time, it's it's about your boyfriend and him being comfortable with being with you and his family. So whatever he feels is best, knowing his family is probably what you should do. Uh, Here is Shayla. Good morning. You're on the Burt Show. Hey, good morning. So coming from someone who is a Christian and Christian background, I agree with Bert. I think she should say something beforehand before you even get started with kids because at the end of the day, no, it's completely not their business, but this involves his family. And this guy, is if he has to feel like he has to choose his mom over this lady, you're going to run into some issues there because you're still going to have to be around his family. So I would say something now because unfortunately, if your relationship has to end, I would not bring kids into this situation with a question mark. Thank you for calling. Appreciate it. Cass, you want last word on that? Yeah, I just feel like we're ignoring the fact that her boyfriend is a full-grown adult who can tell his parents <laughs> about his girlfriend's religion if he wants. True. Like he's And he can stand up against his parents if he wants to. Anitra, yes. Anitra, I would love to hear from you again when you decide what you're going to do and how you and your boyfriend are going to handle it. Would love to talk to you again. Okay, yeah, we'll definitely discuss it and see what our best option is because it might just be him having to tell them. (laughs) Yeah, there you go. That's the first step right there. (laughs) Thanks for calling and sharing with us. Appreciate it. Thank you. The Burt Show.